Now that we've oriented the piece on the computer, we can now start getting ready to set the paths to machine the different um, features on this part. You can see that this part has a few holes. These, in fact, were bearing holes, and we'll talk about um, how I would machine these parts different than maybe some of these other holes and slots. And so um, what we're going to do is before we begin setting the tool paths, we need to set up what, which machine that we're going to use. And so what you would go here, and the way that you would do this, is you would go up to um, machine type and go to mill. And if you've set up the software correctly, there will be a list here. Um, right now, I've just installed this version of Mastercam, and so I don't have a list. And so I'm just going to click the default um, here. And notice it brings up this thing that says a default mill. Don't worry if you don't have the correct mill in here right away because it can be changed at a later time after um, you've set all your tool paths. And so um, what selecting the proper mill does is it creates the proper G code for a specific um, machine because each, machi each machine may have its own subtleties on how the G code needs to be written. And so um, the first thing that we typically do once we have this part um, oriented and we have the machine um, chosen is I hit this little um, plus button to expand that, this little folder. And I need to set up the stock. The stock is um, the material that you're creating um, the part from. And so if I go to stock setup, it allows, it brings up this dialog and it gives me some um, numbers that I can fill in here to represent the X, Y, Z um, thickness of the, or dimensions of the material that I'm going to be cutting this from. And so I don't know um, right now how long this part is off the top of my head. And so what I could do is maybe close this and, and measure it. And one way to measure it is to go to analyze and I can click distance. And I can click um, one corner here and then another corner here. And it will tell me in the X direction it is 27.5 um, um, inches long. If I wanted to do the um, Z direction of the thickness, I could have clicked here and here. Okay. And it would give me that. Notice I could also click maybe here and then go to the opposite corner here. And it would tell me it's the difference is 27 and a half in the X, um, two in the Y, and then two in the Z. So it tells me that this is a two inch square tubing that's 27 and a half inches long. And so if I go back here now to stock setup, I can then say, well, it's 27 and a half inches long in the X direction, it's two inches in the Y direction and it's also two inches in the Z direction. I want to display this stock, and so I'm going to click um, display. I typically only display it as a wireframe. And then the next thing is, where is the origin of the stock? Well, the origin of the stock is in the back corner here. So I'm just going to, if I click here, it automatically moves it. So then if I hit the check mark, um, it might be hard to see, but let me zoom out a little bit. You can see that um, there's some red that goes around that red wireframe is the actual stock. In fact, if I go back to the wireframe model, you can see the red dotted um, lines a lot easier, and that would represent the dimensions of the stock. And so going back here, um, we have just the, the, the solid view of the part, but our stock is now set up. There's an, um, another way to set up the stock, and that would be just going here, and let's say we didn't want to measure um, what we could do. Let me go back maybe to just the default settings of zero, which it started with. Um, one way to do this um, is just go to create a bounding box. And if we create a bounding box, it automatically selects that. And notice you can expand um, how maybe you want the stock to be a little bit longer than the part. So maybe we want, we want to expand it maybe a quarter of an inch. And I'll I'm going to do that and I'll explain why. So we've made the stock a quarter inch longer um, than the actual part. And so clicking here um, allows the stock to extend a little bit further than the end of the part. 